Hello, in this video we are going to add our ambient occlusion pass. So I have it up here. It's going to drag it on the top layer. It should look something like this. And it's pretty simple. You just We want the shadows to be on it, and those are dark. And so we want to use multiply. So let's go over here, go to... So you can either use any of these like multiply functions, but multiply is usually the one I do. And you'll see now I have this effect underneath these areas. So just be aware that ambient inclusion isn't a physically accurate um, effect. So it can kind of break your renders if you're not careful with it. Um, it's useful to kind of push details if you need like shadow. So like right here, this is really nice in this area, but I don't really like it too much in these areas. And it looks like it's breaking the alpha here. So um, let's fix the alpha issue. Um, if I go to track mat, I'm just gonna take one of these other passes that do have a mat and that kind of fix that. Um, and then now I am going to make this less intense. I just go to this little arrow, go to opacity and just reduce it until it becomes something that is, so that's zero. So I want it to be very subtle, kind of helps in this area. And you can always use shapes and things like that to mask out areas. Like if you don't like it in this area versus this, um, you can also try to do things with crypto mats. But that's usually based off um, either material, geometry, um, that kind of thing. So usually, I, I think the issue is the ground. So I'm not, and that's all, that's all sharing the same kind of thing. So you'd probably have to mask it out using a shape. All right, and then um, we need to rename this. AO. That's good.